This question is for Simon, um, who is asking a question uh, for extension to mathematics. I hope your study is going well, Simon, and also the rest of your 12, I hope you're doing well. So here's a, a quick answer to Simon's question in his preparation for the uh, um, uh, extension to mass HSC. As you can see here in the diagram, uh, in the question, it says the point P in the di argon diagram represents a complex number Z, where Z satisfies this equation. Give a geometric description of the locus of P as Z varies. Okay, in analyzing this question, if you look at that carefully, we are trying to, uh, to describe the locus of Z, or of P, sorry. Now, a quick, a quick analysis shows us that clearly that uh, Z cannot be, or the point P, sorry, cannot be the point uh, zero, 0, which is the origin. The reason being, if you put zero, 0, in there, you will have 1 divided by 0, you get undefined. Okay, now, in trying to analyze this, uh, uh, this locus, my suggestion to you is to try and play around with the equation first, uh, the given equation. Okay, so playing around with this, I think that the, the, the quickest way is to make a common denominator. And to get a common denominator is obviously more cross, get cross multiply the denominator, and you shall get this. Okay, which simplifies to the Z conjugate plus Z, giving you Z, Z conjugate, conjugate like this. Now, one of the famous law, of course, is that um, you should recognize that Z, Z conjugate should be the mod of Z squared. And, sorry, I've written this wrong here. Let me take that back off. Z plus Z conjugate is actually the real part of Z. So if, at this point, we let Z be X plus I, Y, you will see clearly that Z plus Z conjugate is nothing more than 2 times the real part of Z, which is just 2X. And likewise, the theorem that says Z, Z conjugate is um, equal to the mod of Z all squared, which is nothing more than this. So putting all that together, we get, um, if you look at this equation here, you'll see, sorry, this final equation, call this equation A. If you put um, B and you put C into A, you will get 2x equal to x squared plus y squared, which clearly leads to x squared minus 2x plus y squared equal to zero, upon completing the square, we get this equation, which is, if you were to describe the locus, which is best done, of course, by a quick sketch, your imaginary z, your real z, and this locus is a circle center at one comma zero of radius one, which means it's going to come across to the origin, but we already real recognize that the origin cannot be part of the domain. So here is your locus description. So the locus of P is nothing more than a circle of radius 1 center at 1 comma 0. And of course notice that the point uh, 0, 0 has to be excluded here way at the beginning. And that's it. That's your answer. Good luck to your studies guys.